I really do enjoy recording these. So we are starting to record. Thank you so much, Elita. You keep me on my toes, girl. Love it. All right, we're sharing the screen. Everybody's muted. We're ready to go. So hormones for her. There is a hormones for him class, but I'm telling you, I did not think that my hormones were crazy. I, I just thought, you know what? I'm going to go in. I'm going to get my hormones tested. I want to see what my baseline is because I'm 43 and I figure, well, I want to know what normal is for me. And then when things go crazy, then we'll be able to go back to that baseline. And little did I know that baseline didn't exist anymore for me. My hormones were already, they were actually bottomed out to where I came back after I did the saliva test. So you can do a blood test and a saliva test. I recommend the saliva test because that's what my doctor said for me to do. And I decided that she knows best. Dr. Carice Wesley, she's in Lexington. Um, I don't know if she's taking any more patients right now, but she's fabulous. She's worth the drive. People drive all the way from Cynthiana. They drive all the way, anyhow. So she's worth the drive. Um, but when I got my test back, she came in the room and she said, well, you have zero hormones. And I said, oh, she said, you have zero estrogen, zero progesterone. I said, is that okay? I'm thinking, <laughs> I don't know. She goes, no, you should have some of that at all times. Sometimes it'll be higher and sometimes it'll be lower, but you should have some. And so we knew we had a lot to, to um, take hold of. So I knew that she's holistic, that's why I love her. And I said, can we try to do this without any of the synthetic things possible? I really would like to try, um, I use Young Living oils. She said, oh, so do I. I said, okay, I know I like you. Um, and so she was familiar with several of the products that I'm gonna tell you about that were able to, A, what was fun is that we took the one that should shoot your estrogen up, right? And guess what it did? When I got my test back, my estrogen was here, my progesterone was low. Um, I, I'm taking this backwards, sorry. We did the progesterone first, and then my estrogen was low. So I, I, I put in a couple oils for my progesterone. We came back and, and there it was. And I said, okay, well let's work on the estrogen. So we did that, and my progesterone, we took that out, and it was low. And then now I went back and I've taken it, and I'm hoping, just hoping, um, the last time that I did, my estrogen wasn't all the way down here, but it was definitely the lower of the normal and my progesterone was high. So we are thinking that for me, I may have to do a couple more tests to figure out if my progesterone is washing out some of my estrogen. But also we need to figure out what time of the month exactly is my cycle. It's more information we need to know. But we need to know what time, what day exactly, because if I'm not having regular cycles, then it's kind of a guessing game. So Carice Wesley, I highly recommend getting a saliva test to show your hormones. I'm not a doctor and I'm not here to diagnose you. I'm not here to treat or cure any of your illnesses because I don't know what, what your body is like. I don't know what your body needs, your doctor does. But the content I'm gonna cover is for Im informational purposes only. So if you get that information from your doctor and then you want to work on a few of these areas, I'm going to share with you some of the Young Living products that can help you do that naturally without having to jump already to the synthetic options. So um, quality matters. You guys all know that. I think everybody on here knows that Young Living is kind of the best. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm totally biased. However, I have tried other oils. I've tried other supplements. And um, Young Living's have given me the... Um, the experience that I was looking for. So quality matters. There's this thing called seed to seal. Um, they start with the best seeds. They use no harmful chemicals on the land or on the plants. They hand weed, y'all, it would be way less expensive if they chose to use a chemical, like a pesticide. When I say way less expensive, it's $12,000 to weed a lavender field. They could do it for $60 if they just wanted to spray the pesticides on there. So it is by far their choice to do this. And that's, anyhow, I, I, I think that's honorable. Um, they harvest at the peak times. They distill on site. So it's not like they're dragging this lavender. I grew up in Washington and I would watch them harvest some lavender fields and it would sit in the rain and you don't know if it's moldy. And then they would drive it over to Seattle and, and Eastern Washington area to distill it. and. Um, so they have distilleries on site. 
and then they test a minimal of three times eight. They do eight tests three times before they send any products off to us. So they keep track of the lot number so then they can make sure that they got the stamp of approval. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. So the products that they're giving us are the highest quality and that makes them more effective when we use them. All right, there are, th speaking of using, there are three ways that we typically use oils. Um, I use my oils in all three of these ways, but typically um, you're gonna have ingesting, which is the hot topic people like to debate, but um, Young Living Oils are um, Ross certified, which means generally guarded as safe, and so they are able to be used. Now, not all of them, you wouldn't want to um, ingest all of them. However, um, if there is a vitality oil for that oil, then it is ingestible. Well, let me just pause one second. Is it the same oil in the vitality version as in the regular colored label version? Everyone should be nodding their head. It's the same exact oil, different label. Okay, so it's cheaper to get the label that is not Vitality because it comes in a larger size. Vitality just comes in a little size. So if you know that you want to ingest that oil, okay. Um, there's also topically, so you put it on your skin. I use a lot of these oils topically. I'll tell you about that in just a little while. Um, and then aromatically, just even smelling the oils has an effect on your brain. It can actually, um, it can actually be therapeutic as well. So um, don't think of it as lesser than. And actually, when you use a diffuser, a quality diffuser, it'll break apart the ions into positive and negative ions. And when it does that, then you're, it's more readily available to be absorbed into your cells. So that's pretty cool. I know there are other people on this call that have a lot more scientific information, but I like to keep it just kind of right there so it doesn't stress people out. <laughs> but I, anyhow, so yeah, in the chat, if I'm saying something that you want to add to, by all means, add it because we are going to learn from each other. I just happen to have muted you. <laughs> but feel free to use the chat. Um, let's just say some safety real quick. You never want to put oils in your eyes or your ears. They're too sensitive. There's no need for that. If you wanted to um, maybe treat or something your eyes, I would put it on your occipital bone right here. If you want to do your ears, I'd put it back behind, or you could even put it on a, uh, a cotton ball and stick it in your ear. Like not dripping wet, but just barely any on there. Anyway, so um, supplements. Um, I would definitely tell you to, to read the back of the supplements. It'll tell you how to use them. And unless a doctor tells you otherwise, that's how you should use them. Okay? All right, we're moving on. So what are hormones? I mean, I don't even have to ask a group of women what are hormones. We kind of know. We kind of know that our hormones help regulate our metabolism, our growth, um, tissue function, sexual function, reproduction, sleep, and moods. Um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of struggled in a few of these areas. If you look over on the right, the hormone imbalance, um, it can contribute to migraines and insomnia, weak bones, weight gain, hot flashes, mood swings, infertility, low libido. Um, I just want to maybe just wink at me so you don't have to like tell everybody, but wink at me if any one of those things you think you have or have struggled with, um, or it has been kind of a, a stressor for you. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of winks. Just so you know, you're not alone. You are not alone. Isn't there a song like that? You are not alone. Okay, maybe not. That's like a Michael Jackson song. Okay, I digress. All right, so um, the endocrine system is comprised of all the glands in your body that produce hormones, including your thyroid, your pancreas, and for women, your ovaries. Hormones are like little chemical messengers in your body that regulate your metabolism, your growth and development, all those things we talked about. And they're produced by the glands and secreted directly into the circulatory system to achieve homeostasis or balance. So when our hormones are out of balance, it can contribute to all of those negative things, all those things that are on the right side of the screen. And over time, these hormones and imbalances well, it can lead to rapid aging and increase the risk of disease. So we want to get our hormones on track. We want to make sure that our hormones are, are dealt with, just for 
lack of better words for it, you know? Um, your body is constantly working on the delicate task of keeping your systems in balance. Stress, poor diet, poor food choices, inadequate sleep, synthetic hormones, genetic factors, and less active lifestyles can all throw your hormones out of whack and they create health problems. So here's the good news. Young Living, like I said, has essential oils and other products to support your body in that balancing act. So what are those things? Ta-da! Here we are. This is where you might want to take some time and take a few notes because you're going to see what it says on here. And what I'm, what I'm putting on these slides, what Alita put on these slides, are what's going to be basically what you'll get on here. So as you can tell, I'm going to have many more sentences than this one. Thyramin helps maximize nutritional support for healthy thyroid function. Okay. Um, the word thyroid, the name thyroid, well, sorry, thyromin, it sounds like thyroid. So that helps you remember if your thyroid needs a little extra support, then you would want to maybe use thyramin. Um, the thyroid gland helps regulate your body's metabolism, energy, and body temperature. It can control your calorie burning and even your heart rate. So it's kind of a big deal. So what if one little pill could support your body so you feel energized and balanced or maintain that healthy weight that you work really hard for? Yeah, so you can be proactive in supporting your thyroid. Your thyroid's a big deal. This supplement contains iodine. Um, let's see here. It creates hormones, so the hormones help uh, where is I going with the iodine? Hold on one minute. It's just kind of neat that it, that it does iodine because there's not very many ways to get iodine in your body. So let me get back to that. Um, by consuming this supplement and having a healthy lifestyle, you can't just necessarily like, oh, I'm going to just take thyramin and then eat junk because that's not going to help. That's not going to help you. Got it? Um, so taking thyramin and having a healthy lifestyle can support both your metabolism and your thyroid at the same time. Woohoo, can I get an amen? Oh, that's right, you're muted. <laughs> that's always awkward. <laughs> Do the praise hands, you know? Woohoo! All right, so there are some essential oils that are in this, um, in this supplement, and those are spearmint, helps with digestive system and your respiratory support. Peppermint also helps with digestive system and um, it supports the nervous system and respiratory systems as well as healthy muscles, bones, and skin. And the other two also help with great skin. That would be myrtle and myrrh. All right, so thyramin's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a, a cool one to have. If there was one supplement to start and you, if you wanted to start working on your hormones, I'd probably say thyramin. I would say go for it. Ah, so somebody is allergic to iodine. I can't remember who iPad 1 was. Was that Mary? No, Mary's iPad 2. Let me see here. So if you're allergic to iodine, yes, it's the same iodine. So I would imagine, yes. Okay, it, it's Connie. So Connie, don't take thyramin, okay? <laughs> um, there's another one in here, I think, that also has iodine. I'll try to remember to, to point that one out. Okay, so the next one is called Cortistop. Cortistop supports your body maintaining natural balance and harmony and is designed to aid the female glandular system. That doesn't really tell you much, does it? So let me tell you a little bit more. Cortistop, when you think of cortistop, it kind of helps you just like thyramin helps with the thyroid. Cortistop helps with your cortisol levels, okay? So let's just talk about cortisol real quick. Cortisol is the hormone produced in your adrenal glands in response to stress and low blood sugar. So when you want to support your um, when you want to support your amount healthy amount of cortisol in your body, you would reach for cortisol. You remember the fight or flight response that your body has? There's a hormone cortisol that helps you survive, and so it's super important. However, if it's produced too often and released too often, it can be harmful to your body. You can experience feelings of fatigue, difficulty maintaining the healthy weight. Um, difficulty maintaining optimal health of your cardiovascular system. So I take this at night before I go to bed because when I wake up, I feel more rested and less on edge. You know, when you have one of those days, I had one today. And so I'm just telling you, like, 
ugh, it was, I don't know, it just kind of kept hitting me in the face. And there was nothing really major that happened, but I just didn't really handle the stress very well. So if you want to maintain your desired weight, feel more emotionally balanced, and take on whatever life throws your way, then cortisol the night before is a really great um, supplement to take. There's a couple of oils that are in there. I'll tell you about fennel. Oh, let me just pause for a minute. I keep telling you that there's oils inside these, um, these great uh, supplements. This book, this is called the Supplement Desk Reference. This is like a commercial break, right? <laughs> it's by Jen O'Sullivan. And in here is fabulous. She has an actual, um, let's see, here's her immune, digestive. She actually has a protocol that tells you, um, man, she's got brain health, she's got immune system, bone health, cholesterol, colon cleanses, digestive and gut health, energy support, um, emotional support. I can, I'm just trying to get to the one that I'm wanting, right? <laughs> Um, okay, so a hormone support protocol. She goes through and she tells you to get more sleep. She tells you to eat less junk, to add more greens to your body, um, to go on a walk, to drink more water, to take a nap, to limit noise, to get the, um, Rebecca's saying, what's the book called? Girl, you could just borrow it from me, okay? <laughs> it's the Supplemental, the Supplements Desk Reference. It's by Jen O'Sullivan. And you find it at, can you see that? I hope it's not backwards. 31oils.com. She does a lot of podcasts too. So you can also, for free, look up and she tells you about all kinds of different um, supplements. But this one I love. She says to limit junk food and to ditch and switch. So much of what we put on our bodies goes into our body. And it wreaks havoc. It, there are so many things that are estrogen um, mimicking, so it makes your body think that it has enough estrogen, so it stops making it. Um, there's, there's a lot of chemicals in our lives, um, in America especially. Um, they have only banned eight chemicals. They were all grandfathered in, and they've only banned eight, whereas... Um, the uh, UK has banned 16,000. So 16,000 versus eight. Yeah. So pretty much we just get all the junk and, we, and they just say it's all right for us to have it. Um, so, so this goes through, I kind of went through, it tells you what to do in the morning, what to do at lunch, dinner, and before bed and that sort of thing. So I just, I love looking at this and getting an idea. And then I talked with my doctor, again, like we said, and um, she had said, yes, to stop. take one to two capsules before bed. I was like, all right. So um, we're talking about less stress. Another good one that I don't think we'll talk about is um, Super B. All the B vitamins are amazing for stress to, to help your body. Um, thank you very much, Alita. I knew I could count on you, sister. That is right. There, she's put it in the comments um, on the chat so that you can look at, um, look up that book if you want it to. So, so what I was about to say is that she goes in and she talks about how much better Young Living supplements are than anything else you're getting from the store. Let's say that you go to GNC and you get a supplement and it says it's going to do the same thing that the Young Living one does. Choose the Young Living one every time because it's infused with essential oils. And essential oils are like little pickup trucks and they'll grab whatever the nutrients are that need to go to your cells and it drives it to wherever it needs to go. And Rebecca, if that's your husband making fun of me, you tell him to knock it off. <laughs> Just She's going to chat with me, huh? All right. Um, so the oils that are in Cordostop or fennel. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, your son. All right. He can do that. Um, so fennel helps with the circulatory system, glandular, respiratory, digestive, and it also may support feelings of well-being during your menstrual cycle. We're going to get into a couple oils that really help with this. One of them is fennel. It does smell like black licorice. I'm just saying like it does. So a lot of mamas will use it when they are nursing because it helps um, boost their lactation stuff. Anyways, milk supply. Peppermint does not help boost your lactation supply. It actually can if you drink, if you have too much of it. Um, can actually dry you up if you're breastfeeding, just so you know. 
but it helps with all those things I already told you about. Clary Sage, we are so going to talk about Clary Sage. It is awesome, but Cordostop has some in it. It also has frankincense, which is awesome for moods as well as um, slowing down your aging process. All right. All right, guys. So the next one that we're going to talk about is another supplement. It's called Endogize. And Endogize helps with your endocrine system. See how this helps? Like, holy cow, you can say Endogize, Thyromin, and Cordostop. It's just awesome how they name these. <laughs> Um, I will say that this helps with your ever declining DHEA levels. Another one we're not going to talk about is PD8020. PD8020, um, I'm trying to remember what the 20% is, but 80% is the DHEA and the 20% is, might be progesterone, I can't remember. All I know is that I took it for a while and my progesterone went way up and my doctor said, Pop off of that. So I don't take PD8020 anymore. See how you can work with your doctor on this stuff? All right, so Endogize, back to Endogize. It's um, created just for women to support your entire endocrine system. Um, so the most common hormone in your body is those four letters I said, D-H-E-A. You could Google that. You could Google what does D-H-E-A stand for? What does it help in my body? What, what are the benefits of DHEA? Um, your body does produce its own DHEA, but after age 20, guess what? Production starts to decline. That means that this supplement is very good for anyone who's over the age of 20. I think that includes all of us. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see here. If you need this, uh, you may need this hormone um, because it's it produces over 50 other hormones. It helps produce other hormones like estrogen. Um, so all the things that older women experience, or maybe, maybe you're experiencing them and you're not older. I mean, I'm telling you, weirder things can happen. Um, you wanna get this supplement, Endogize, A-S-A-P, all right? Um, let's see, you wanna use it for four weeks and then you discontinue it for two weeks. It says so on the bottle, but just remember to read the bottles because it's very important to give your body a little bit of time so it doesn't become dependent on um, the endogize. Um, let's see, did you know that your adrenal glands are just sitting right on top of your kidneys and they are, um, the hormones that they produce help regulate your blood sugar and blood pressure. So when we're talking about that weight your blood sugar is a big deal about um, in that respect. So it helps your body per, um, to burn fat and to use up the protein that you give it in your diet. It also releases cortisol, which is your stress hormone. So by supporting these glands, you're supporting your overall cardiovascular health, your metabolism, your weight management, and your ability to maintain stress and maintain your energy. So. Um, get this, Endogize is infused with essential oils to help increase its bioavailability. <coughs> Sorry, that's what I'm talking about when I say it has oils in it, which increases its bioavailability, your body's ability to absorb and utilize everything that you ingest. So here are the oils it has, clary sage, we already mentioned that, ginger, really good for your digestive system, myrrh, we already mentioned that, and cassia, cassia is kind of cinnamony tasting. Um, let's see here. Now, do not use endogize if you are pregnant or lactating. So just, just saying, yeah, you, you don't necessarily want to have that if you're pregnant because you already have enough of that hormone. You don't need any more. All right. Um, it'd be wasting your money. All right. The next one is Femigen. Femigen. So it combines wild yam, Damiana, and Dong Koi. It's a synergistic amino acid group um, that and select essential oils as you can read that designed to help support the female system let me tell you a little bit about femigen femigen i was um, out of it for a little while and i could tell um, if you're in childbearing age and you want to give support to your lady parts this is what you'd want to use so if you're planning on having kids or you want to then this would be the one <laughs> rebecca is like uh -uh, nope not having it um, I don't know if there's anybody else that's interested in having kids. If, if not, then we'll just move kind of past this one real quick. Um, 
it's it's a great essential oil um, supplement. It helps with your brain, mood, bones, heart, skin, and other tissues. But there's another one that you could use if you're not wanting to have kids. So we'll move forward. Um, let's see here. Okay, progestins plus this is not an actual essential oil. Did you know that? Did you see that it says serum on it? So it's a serum and it's, it's got progestins plus, so it helps with your progesterone and guess where they get the progesterone? From a wild yam. How cool is that? So it's totally from a plant-based progesterone. Progesterone is a hormone that's produced in the body. It regulates your menstrual cycle and it's crucial for pregnancy. You also need progesterone for a healthy libido. Okay, so if you're not trying to get pregnant, but you still wanna kinda have fun, you might wanna try and check to see if your progesterone is too low. If it's too low, you might be saying no more often than you need to. Okay, just saying. Um, as you age, you have a natural decrease in progesterone production, just kinda like what we talked about before with the DHEA. Um, yeah, so after 30 years old, you'll want to be um, kind of more careful about your progesterone. It's very common. That's why they say that women peak in their sexual desire like around 27, 28. Well, it's because at 30, your progesterone starts to just kind of tank out. So um, don't get progesterone confused with progestins. Progestins are the synthetic hormones that you can get when you get Synthroid or all these other um, over-the-counter or prescribed medicines. Um, this one is, like I said, from Wild Yam, so it's totally natural. Um, when I needed to get my progesterone level up, this is the one that I used, and I put it on two times a day. It's a cute little bottle. It looks different than all the other oil bottles. All the other oil bottles are amber colored. Well, this is a serum, and it doesn't need necessarily to be um, in an amber bottle, but I put this either on my inside of my arm here, the inside of my arm here, or imagine this part on my leg, okay? The inside part of your leg, I'm not gonna show you that, <laughs> but I put it there. Um, sometimes I'll put it on the thin skin on my neck as well. So progesterone, I do it twice a day. She says, slow please, so I'm going too fast. All right, thank you, I need to know that. Um, progesterone, um, yeah, like I said, it's really important to have. Um, oh, show bottle. Okay, there you go. It's also on the screen if you can see it there. Um, yeah, mine is almost empty, so, well, anyhow, uh, you can see it's got a little there. I'll probably need it within the month. Um, but my doctor had said, okay, so when your progesterone was here or here and you needed it to go here, why don't you double the amount of drops you're putting on yourself? So instead of just doing about two drops uh, twice a day, she said, let's do four drops twice a day. And actually I admit, I was doing two drops once a day. And she said, let's do four drops twice a day. And then when I went and got my thing, remember I told you that my progesterone was high and my estrogen's just barely level. So we're gonna try to see if we can pull the estrogen back up. So it really, really, it has worked in my body. It has worked, and my doctor was very proud and very excited to tell me that she uses it as well. Okay, so there are some actual essential oils. Um, let's see here. These are my powerhouse oils. I told you we were gonna talk about Clary Sage, right? Clary Sage is one of my very, very favorites. So Clary Sage, well, I've got three favorites, so I can't really say that, but Clary Sage. It takes your libido up a notch. Um, and so you could use it as a little, um, I guess a diffuser blend on those nights. That's all I gotta say about that, okay. Um, let's see, it's been used by women for centuries. In the past 10 years, there've been many scientific studies that confirm its amazing quality. So if you don't believe me, just Google it, benefits of Clary Sage, and you're gonna be shocked. You could go to PubMed, and look up actual peer-reviewed studies about Clary Sage. Clary Sage, it is awesome. You heard that it was in several of the supplements, so you know it's pretty good. Um, it has an earthy smell to it um, with a little bit of floral. Um, it says it's fruity, but I don't know if I can smell the fruity. Mm. 
Um, but I will tell you that it helps if you ever have sore muffle, muffles, any sore muscles, I was gonna say, or monthly aches. So sore muscles or monthly aches, if you know what I mean. Mine, I just have a little, um, I put the roller bottle on top of that because I use it so much and I just put it right around here or on my belly, depending on what time of month it is for me. Um, so that just sits right there on my um, nightstand. Let's see, you can also use it on your face. Someone in Young Living was using that and the dry skin serum on her face. Yeah, that would make sense. Larry Sage, that sounds good. Or are you talking about um, Progestix Plus? I wonder which one. Mary, I think that's you. Tell us if that was um, Progestix Plus or the Clary Sage that people said that you could use on your face. So I think I've heard Progestix Plus now that you're saying that, but okay. Um, the next one is Dragon Time. I didn't bring it up here, but I have two bottles of this, two bottles, because I have two teenagers at my house, two teenagers. Can you imagine? Two teenage girls. And so whenever I think they need it, they each have a roller bottle. I'm like, hey, baby, how's it going? I'll just rub it on her back. Right back here. Um, so when they get, um, yeah, Progestance Plus was the one that you were talking about that you could do on your face. That's what I had heard too. Um, okay, so Dragon Time. It's exactly what it sounds like, guys, Dragon Time. Like when you feel like a dragon, Pull out your dragon time, right? Um, it helps with cramping. It helps, um, you can put it on your lower back or your abdomen or any other areas that you might want to put it um, during your menstrual cycle, but it's, um, it's good also to diffuse. Um, there is a dragon time massage oil. Like, ah, that means it's a huge bottle. It's already diluted, but you could get a massage bottle and then get George Ann Bistecki or Deb Dunbar to give you a massage once this whole COVID-19 thing is over. Although I think you guys are back to work now, but you could bring a bottle of Dragon Time and be like, hey girl, fix me, all right? So between the massage and the oils, you will be in heaven. Um, Lady Scleral, Lady Scleral is also a fabulous oil that I keep right there by my dresser. Um, Lady Scleral, let's see here. I use it mostly during my season, so just like four days out of the month, but um, yeah, I, I like it. It's great. It says right here that it's um, created for women. It contains jasmine, bergamot, geranium, orange, and many other oils. Can you imagine what that smells like? It is like a seductive oil, and you could use it as a perfume. I mean, this one, I put it right here and I go to sleep and I'm smelling it all night long. I love it because I kind of sleep with my arms like this and it's just, mm, it's, it could be a perfume, seriously. It is so yummy. Um, oh, another way to look, um, to check out your health. I just have to say this, like, don't think I'm a weirdo. I know that like kind of hippie comes to mind sometimes. I'm like half a hippie, but um, some other ways to support your health is, just check out your feminine hygiene products. If you're still having your cycle, like try to find one that's chlorine free, that's dye free, um, no synthetics, no pesticides, uh, pesticides, dyes, or fragrances. There are some out there. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to find, but you gotta look and um, look for non-GMO because that cotton, they spray it with pesticides and then you're putting it outside your lady parts. Like, come on, whose idea was that? I don't know. Um, there are other options like a diva cup, um, just saying, and then I've been kind of checking out these Thinks panties. I don't know if anybody's tried those, but um, I was talking to my my teenager, um, and I just, yeah. Anyways, so if you've tried those, private message me and tell me um, what you think about Thinks. If they're kind of expensive, but you just need like two or three pairs, and they come in a little pack, I don't know, $40 or something for three pairs of underwear, but I don't know. Is it gross? Okay, anyways, um, let's keep going. Let's see here. Vitality oil. See how there's like the white label and then there's the colored label? The white label bottle is really small. The colored label is really big. Same oil inside both of those. See the Endoflex? You got two different colors. One's big. If you know you like Endoflex and you want to use Endoflex and you want to maybe put it in a capsule, I would buy the bigger bottle. Is that helpful? All right, so Endoflex, 
Um, it contains a little bit of sesame seed oil. It's infused with spearmint, so it's kind of a minty taste. It's got um, geranium and sage, myrtle, nutmeg, and German chamomile. And um, it really helps your, immune, your um, endocrine system. And let's just talk for a second. I have a friend who rubs this, like I do, right here by where my thyroid would be, and takes it in a capsule along with some longevity. So it drips three drops in a capsule and puts a little long, longevity and some olive oil in there. She went to the doctor and obviously the nurse had not looked at her charts, but the nurse said, well, we're a little bit concerned because your thyroid's only working at 60%. She said, I don't have a thyroid. You took that out like 10 years ago. Can you believe that? Isn't that crazy? So I'm just saying I'm using it to support my thyroid as well. Um, then sclerescence, sclerescence is exactly what my doctor told me to use when my, um, when my estrogen was so low. So remember this last time I went, so first estrogen was high, progesterone was low. Now, I'm sorry, um, estrogen was high, progesterone was low. Then estrogen or progesterone was high and estrogen was low. So now we're trying to get my estrogen back up. And um, so she said, I need you to take sclerescence and use it every single day. So I, I do, I, I put it on twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. I love the smell of it. I've gotten, I think my husband likes it now. At first he wasn't so sure about it, but <laughs> um, the saliva test, you're going to want to talk to a doctor about it. Not very many doctors will do it. So maybe you Google it. You and I can talk later, Rebecca, about the saliva test because I have to go pick one up and I can take a picture of it so you can know what you're asking for. Um, so sclerescence, yep. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Okay. So guys, that was a lot. That was a lot of oils, a lot of supplements. If you haven't tried the supplements through Young Living, I highly suggest you do that. Um, I'm just going to give a quick little plug. If you're not a member, because I'm not sure there's two people, I'm not positive if they're members already. Um, you really want to get this, all of these things for wholesale. Wholesale is when you become a member. Um, if you're a member, put in the chat and just say, yeah, buddy, like <laughs> let them know that you're a member because I, I really think it's fun to know um, like who here loves oils enough that they got that premium starter kit that they, it comes with two of those little roller top things that I put on my oils. We, it comes with oils that are not in, uh, that are not the ones that we talked about, but you can get these ones that we talked about, holy cow, for 24% off. Um, I, I think that's the way I would want to purchase anything for 20, 24% off. Good. People are saying, yeah, yeah, look at there. Um, got a lot of people with starter kits, so I'm not going to talk too much into it. Um, it is, you, it comes with a diffuser, comes with a little hand sanitizer, thieves cleaner, which are two great things to get toxins out of your home. Those are the estrogen mimicking possibilities. You want to be sure that you're not cleaning with things that that are cancer causing and all that sort of thing. Um, let's see here. Uh, it comes with stress away and peace and calming. That'll help, like what we talked about, we gotta get our stress levels down to keep our cortisol levels in check. Um, it comes with all these 10 other oils and then two packs of Ningxia Red, which I could do a whole class on Ningxia Red, but I won't. So all of this is about $416. I've heard 435, but I haven't added it up myself, but either between those two for $165. And then you get the opportunity to be on Essential Rewards. So Essential Rewards is the best way to start getting some of these other oils that are outside of the kit, because not only do you get them for 24% off, but you also earn points and you can earn freebies with purchase. So if you purchase a certain amount, you get some freebies, they just toss them in there. They also will, um, they also will take your um, essential oils if you're on there for um, like uh, three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. They just toss in an extra oil into your essential rewards box. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and the only thing that you need to know about with essential oils um, essential rewards is that you do need to order it's like a subscription box so you need to order 50 PV every month in order for them to mail it out as a subscription box 
So otherwise they'll send it as a quick order um, because you can order outside of your ER. It only goes through once a month. And if you want to order something else, like something goes on sale and you're like, ah, oh, I didn't get it in time. Don't worry. You can still order that way and you still get the 24% off, but you don't get any of the points. Um, let's see. So, I mean, that's really pretty much it. Uh, there is an opportunity to get cheaper shipping. They're redoing this YL Go possibility, so I'm not even going to really talk about that. Um, it looks like we have a couple questions in the chat. One is, what is the doctor's name? Carice Wesley. Her name is Carice, C-A-R-E, no, two R's, C-A-R-R-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E. Wesley, just like you would think, W-E-S-L-E-Y, and I'm going to look up her phone number because guess what? I think that all oh, my neighbors texting seven minutes on your porch. Can you make it? She just wants to chat. She's cute. Um, sorry, and it's her birthday. I feel bad. Uh, let's see here. Carice Wesley. Let me grab her. Come on. I mean, I, you would think I have her on. I see. found it, Jen. Oh, you did? D-A-R-E-S-S-E -S -S -E, and then Wesley, M-D in Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, and it should be the letter C. Should be the letter yeah. C, Carice Wesley. And she's at 211 yep. Fountain Court, Lexington. Here's her number. Although, sounds like Cindy, Cindy you already got it. 859-629-2000. <laughs> um, Let's see, 6, Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Okay, way to go. Thank Somebody you. Put it in chat. There it is, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna um, go ahead and stop sharing and then I'm gonna unmute you in case anybody has any questions. If you wanna stay muted, go ahead and mute yourself, but I am not muting you right now. If you have a question, I hope this class was helpful and I hope that you learned a few things. Um, I'm gonna save it. <coughs> Her phone number. <clears throat> My goal is so, um, yes, ma'am. Um, what would you should what would you suggest for a man with hot flashes? My husband had breast cancer and had to have a mastectomy. Oh wow! Okay. And now he's got hot flashes Very interesting. because of the cancer pill he has to take. Sure. The, one of the side effects of tamoxifen that he has to take for five years is hot flashes. Okay. So I was thinking of like mm. peppermint and witch hazel. So I know that for women, so I can only speak for women because I can go back and look at the hormones for him information that I have. But I know that for women, um, we typically say progestins plus because it's going to be a progesterone issue. Peppermint would cool you off for sure. And I would put it on the back of the neck and it would kind of keep you cool. And as the air hits it, it would cool you down. So that was a great idea, a great, a great thought. And the witch hazel is a good idea too, just to kind of dilute it a little bit. But um, for women, we've typically said to use Progestins Plus. Is that helpful? Jen, I had a question. You said yeah, something you. about some underwear. You said something about some underwear. What was the underwear that they yeah, were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've just been looking into it, so I can't say. Um, I'm going to put it in the, oh, sorry, it's Thinks. Thinks underwear? Oh, Thinks. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Thank you. And I got that information from, I'm going to put her down here, Dr. Lindsay um, Elmore. And if you do decide to get some, she has a $10 off coupon. Um, it's on her okay. website. If you look up Dr. Lindsay Elmore, I think it's one of those, okay. like, she probably gets a kickback from it, but I'd rather get the $10 off if I'm going to try something, you know? Right, right. They had three different styles. Um, and so I think one was even a song. I was like, how does that work? I'm not sure. <laughs> Cheyenne's doctor recommended it. Ah. The underwear? Yeah. yeah. It says huh. holds up to four tampons worth of fluid. It seemed disgusting to me, so we haven't tried them, but. <laughs> it, 
does it now this is just me looking on the website so again you know um it said that it does have a protective layer that wicks away the wetness and then it has um another protective layer that makes it it doesn't leak through to your pants so you know as white pants are kind of a popular thing right now um I was thinking about it. I'll tell you. I was thinking. I actually had it pulled up as a tab on my website. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna um, stop recording because nobody needs to know all this information about it. <laughs> <laughs>